Hi everybody, I hope you are having an excellent day today. So I decided, okay, so as you can tell from the title, this is my current skincare routine. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I was not into skincare last year. It just annoyed the heck out of me hearing about skincare because for me, my face was already oily and that's all I needed and that's it. Like I don't need to be putting more stuff on my face that's gonna be making me even oilier or more oily whatever so then as I've said before on one of my comments um, I on, in one of my videos I talked about how my face or my complexion is oily and someone in the comments told me well why don't you try moisturizing your face and that way it won't produce as much oils as many oils so I was I totally had a dumb moment I'm like how could I be such an idiot like come on it's common sense so since then I have started moisturizing and I have noticed a big difference in the amount of oil production on my face so I decided I kind of got into a skin skincare routine so I decided to share it with you if anybody cares to know so let me get started by the way my skincare routine I am trying to simplify it as much as I can. I'm trying to use up what I have right now so I can kind of start doing more natural things, more essential oils and stuff like that. So that is my goal for my skincare. But let me start you from my morning routine. So in the morning, and I knew I was gonna forget a product. I knew it and I did forget it. In the mornings, I usually get up and I use the, uh, what is it, the Body Shop tea tree oil face wash so i did have a sample size that i got in a beauty box and i instantly instantly loved it because i love tea tree oil or uh melaleuca oil which is what it's called and i just love it i believe in it i am i stand behind it 100 percent. i use it for a ton of things so i use that wash to wash my face and I dry my face and then I go in with a toner. Now this is a toner that I made myself and it has witch hazel and apple cider vinegar. The exact proportions, I don't remember because I got it off a of website and I don't remember if it was from Fully Raw Christina. I got it from someone that's like vegan and has natural recipes um, for skincare and stuff on their website. So I got that and I've been using this for... I would say maybe almost two years but I did mix in some organics CoQ10 no not organics um dang it I don't remember the name but it was it's an organic uh face toner and I did mix it in there so once that's done uh I do have some toners to get through but um Ultimately, I'm going to be using witch hazel and apple cider vinegar to tone my face. So that is step one for me. Step two, I have this Clinique. Uh, it's the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. If you have an oily complexion, you want to use the moisturizing gel and not the moisturizing lotion because this one helps mattify you uh, more than the lotion does. So I got this. I also had a sample of this, I believe. And then I got this from Mercari or Poshmark. And I got it for a good price. So this is what I've been applying after my um, toner. So once that dries up then or sinks in, uh, I use my face primer. So face primer, whatever I'm using that day. So uh, that is it for my morning routine. After that, for my evening when I come home and I want to take my face off, um, I'll do a couple of things. I'll either use face uh, wipes, makeup remover wipes uh, from e.l.f. You all know that. I love those wipes. Um, or I will also use the Yes2 Melting Ultra Hydrating Melting Cleanser, uh, Coconut Cleanser thing. I will use this. It does an excellent job of removing makeup, although I just, I don't like the texture. It just... I have texture ish issues like tactile issues and I just I have trouble dealing with it but I do like it and I want to get through it so I can get into using actual natural coconut oil so this is what I'm using for now um, aside from that I also use the white rain um, facial cleanser which you all know it's in empties videos and it's in favorites videos so you all know that I love this so it's a holy grail so this also does an excellent job of removing my makeup so when I don't use this I always keep this in the shower so I can just go in there and take off my makeup 
so after removing my makeup what i use to take off my eye makeup is this um this is not the nyx eye makeup remover i used to have it and this is a really good eye makeup remover if you're looking for something that's inexpensive and that's effective this make eye makeup remover is really really good and there it is up close up close if you want to take a look at it they sell the i got this at ulta i got it at ulta so they sell it there however after i finished with it i uh filled this with baby oil because i had a big container of baby oil a uh, bottle of baby oil that i just wanted to get through and i didn't know how to use it up so i decided to try it as makeup remover um or eye makeup remover and it works wonderfully i can't even tell you how great it works it just gets everything off so i've been using um that for eye makeup remover after i'm done with this i do want to put like a liquefied coconut oil so i can start using that instead but i don't know because with this one with this uh coconut um cleanser if it gets like i can't use it on my eyes because it'll sting my eyes if it gets anywhere near so i don't know i might not i would have to try it first i have some solid coconut oil so i might try it with that first before trying this anyways back to skincare um after i am done with that like let's say if i'm in the shower and i use um this thing i go and i also use this which is the benzac acne solution this is the step one skin balancing and foaming cleanser so this i got at um, mm, mm, mm. oh what's the name oh my gosh i can't believe it. i'm totally forgetting i got at at big lots i got it at big lots so uh it was somewhere around three dollars two dollars but then i saw it at dollar tree and they had it for a dollar and i'm like what the heck so um yeah i've been using this this thing you guys it lasts forever i literally i've been using it for a year consistently and it, it's still like it's a foam so if you squeeze it out it's gonna foam up and i don't even need that much and i even sometimes do two pumps and to try to use it up and i think it's still like halfway full so this may only happen to me of course because my products have this um immortality complex that they like to grab onto and just refuse to finish they refuse to get used up so that might be it after that i go in <laughs> this looks all ratchety already i go in with my oatmeal scrub from tea tree hut so this smells like baby spit up like baby vomit i've been through it before but i grew to like just i like it as an exfoliator so i've been dealing with it i'm almost i'm almost done with this i have it in my project pan roulette um i don't think it's anything magnificent but it's okay it's an okay product i have it and i might as well use it up right so i have that oatmeal scrub so after i get out of the shower i go back and i use my toner so the same uh apple cider vinegar with witch hazel toner and then i just apply whatever moisturizer i'm using at the moment and right now i have this little uh miracle worker uh little container so this is what i'm using as my moisturizer and this is probably for daytime but i don't care i do daytime nighttime whatever it is um i just do it anyways so oh my gosh <laughs> so um yeah so i use that as a moisturizer and for my under eye area i have this narium age defying um cream and it says face but it's an eye serum eye serum so ew zoe no <laughs> she took off her <laughs> she, no she's getting ready for the shower don't pay any attention to her nobody's gonna take me serious now like anybody ever does anyways i i use this for my um under eye area and i don't know it got oh it got messy with cotton i use this on my under eye area and i really like it it's a little tiny bit in here but it lasts a long long time so that is what i use under my eyes hold on okay back to <clears throat> back to uh skincare so that's what i use for my under eyes at night time i forgot to mention that uh during in the mornings when i'm getting ready i i do use the elf hydrating what is it under eye primer 
and this um some people have said that they just it really does nothing for them i feel more comfortable using it because i use it under my eyes when uh right after i moisturize my face and i just let it sink in and i notice that my concealer creases less and for me it just works i got used to using it so i'm going to be purchasing this again when um i go through it so it works for me it works for me so that is pretty much it that is what my skincare routine consists of it's nothing spectacular nothing special oh i forgot to mention one thing i have been in love with masking and i don't like i'm not a fan of sheet masks but i do like this mint julep mask um, i made it sound like this was a sheet mask i i can't concentrate you guys no i i don't like sheet masks in itself because again texture issues so i prefer using actual masks so this is a mud mask and if i apply this after my shower um my pores are opened up and this just does an excellent job of just bringing everything out it sucks a lot of stuff out and the other day i tried it before my shower i cleansed my face and i used a toner just to get any residual makeup stuff that was on there and i put this on before the shower after i got out of the shower i was like oh my gosh if you have those little tools like those pimple popper tools um you can go in and like scrape your pores i guess and you will scrape out a lot of stuff it's like oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't I can't deal with how much stuff gets just stuck in there. So anyways, enough if, enough of the disgusting details. This is pretty much my skincare routine. And um, I've been liking it. I've gotten into it. And yeah, it takes a little bit more time out of my day. But I have noticed my skin feeling better, acting better. I don't get as many breakouts. Um, it seems more hydrated, more vibrant. And I just get way more compliments now when I don't wear makeup than I did before because you may not know it, but your skin does need stuff on it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'm sorry for Zoe's, um, you know she likes to make appearances. You know she likes to make cameo appearances. So that's just her. She's a child. What can I do? Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me again for the 10th time. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.